Hey everyone, it's Teresa here of Luck and Design. Welcome back to my 2013 Project Life album project. And today I'm working with this kit called Flashback from Celine Studio at thelilypad.com. And this is the layout that I'm sharing with you. This is week 12 in my 2013 Project Life album. And so I'm gonna just share with you some of the cards and the photos that I've printed out. I do print my journaling cards here at home. I use a Canon Pixma um, and I use Staples brand matte photo paper, which seems to work out pretty well for me. And then I have a few just tiny embellishments that I want to add to my layout as I get going. And then I also have, there's a little wooden three by four card. That is an old card from my stash from Alison Kraft at her days at Webster pa Webster's Pages. And so those are my cards and photos from the week. And then some of the other products I've pulled that I might like to use are the, these uh, Pink Fresh Studio layered stickers or dimensional stickers. And I'm just gonna, sorry, I'm just taking these out of the package just so that they're easier to, to use here. But I love the colors, the turquoise and the red here. These are some fun little word strips from Pink Fresh. And again, just pulling in those colors from this kit, red, yellow, and turquoise or light blue. So those will come in handy for this layout. And these puffy stickers, I mean, you've always gotta have puffy stickers, right? Um, those are a must have for any, for any Project Life layout, you gotta have puffy stickers. So, and again, just the colors here go really well. And that's, um, that's pretty much what I base my product choices on once I have the kit decided on. I have a stamp set here from Ellie's Studio. That stamp set is a must have for Project Life and for dating your layouts. So I'm gonna dive right in now and I'm gonna start with my date card. I always start with that card because I know what is going on it. I know that I wanna put the week number and the dates of that particular week. And so it looks like I have a good amount of space for journaling around the layout in other places. So this will just house my date. And I'm going to plan this out here. I was thinking about using this wood veneer mart. That is an old piece from the Gossamer Blue kits from a long time ago. They are not in business anymore, sadly. Um, but I decided not to use it. It just didn't really fit in the space. And so stamping it is. And I'm just gonna lay everything out here so that I have it spaced correctly. Also, I've been using this, um, this archival ink pad and I think that these have become my favorite ink pads. They seem to work really well across a wide variety of papers, glossy and matte and they stamp really well with photopol or with these um, clear stamps. So I'm liking those right now. I'm liking that stamp pad right now. You see me using it a lot. I just wanted to, to throw that in there. I also, um, real quick, while I, have it, while I have it on my mind, I hope that you'll hop over to my blog today because someone asked me, um, one of my, my lovely followers, Miss Jackie, asked me about how I do my journaling in this, this album that's now five years old. This is 2013. How do I remember what to write about? And um, so I hope that you'll hop over there and check out what I'm writing today about 
uh, journaling older memories and how I how I cope with that. It's um, actually part of a, ch- a specific challenge related to complex PTSD, and so I have difficulty remembering things. I actually um, probably can't tell you what we had for dinner last night. And so um, on my blog at LarkinDesignTM.com, I'm just going to share how I work through that and, and what I use, what are some specific tools that I use to help me overcome those memory blocks and to make Honestly, my attitude is sort of make journaling what you need it to be and what you want it to be versus having this pressure of what you think it should be. Um, So hop over there and you'll see some of my ways of coping with that. So here I am working on some of the journaling here. There are some great journaling cards in this kit. And um, I'm always looking for kits that do journaling really well. (laughs) And I love when there are several spaces across the layout. One of the things that, um, that helps me with journaling is to use the three by four cards and break the journaling up into smaller pieces. And I've talked about this before. Um, A lot of times I talk about this in my Project Life process videos, that breaking it up into three by four cards makes it feel less overwhelming. And, but if you add all of the journaling together that you put on a layout, then you actually have like three paragraphs or something. Um, So it really does add up. And of course, there are also other ways to journal besides just writing down. Your products can help you journal, your stamps can help you journal, and and the different um, word strips and different word art can help you convey the feelings that you feel around this layout. Um, my, my biggest tip is to always remember that you can journal facts and facts are part of it and you can also journal feelings and um, your feelings are with you whether it's five years ago or today your feelings are with you they may progress a little bit right our feelings move hopefully we move forward with our feelings but you can always always journal about your feelings um So just moving around the page here. Oh, I need to tell you about the stories for this week. And so um, we had two kids that were homesick and that is um, Nick and Natalie are hanging out on the sofa with the cat and they were both home for a couple of days that week, just feeling under the weather. And then we also had went, had gone, uh, grammar, we had gone to Concord Mills, which is right outside of Charlotte, if you're not from North Carolina. We had gone to Concord Mills that Saturday, and of course, the kids loved to go to the Lego store, and they had each picked out a Lego set, and so they were just playing on the floor and hanging out on this side of the layout and um and then there was a lovely sunset this is march is march is a time frame for this layout and so we're starting to move into spring skies and moving into um more sunlight in the day and i love that that i captured that photo at the end of our street um it's on the left hand side it's kind of off the screen right now so those are my photos right it's just six photos not very complicated not not a lot of specific details like i can't tell you you know 
what day we went to the doctor. I can't tell you what medicines the kids had to take for their illness. I didn't even write down what Lego sets they got. And that ultimately, those little details, they're great if you have them and if you don't have them, then let it go and just write about what you know right now. And so hopefully you can see, I added some of those puffy stickers to that wooden card. And you guys, I love that. I love how that looks. The wood grain adds something to this layout and makes it more fun, I think. And, um, oh yay, I'm gonna use these, these layered stickers here. <laughs> um, yeah, and just add a few little touches to the photos. Um, this little vellum is from Ellie Studio. It's, I think I got it sometime last year. And so that was a fun little addition, just a little word, word art to that one card. And um, yay, the dimensional stickers again. I love these. They are so much fun to play with. And um, yeah, so that layout is complete. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing my process today. And again, hop over to the LarkinDesignTM.com blog and check out my tips for journaling older layouts. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope that you will like and comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to hit the notifications button so that you'll know exactly when I drop new videos. Thanks again. I'll see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.